And it really leads me to, if I may, what I'm excited about is kind of like a spin-off trend of data as a product, which is multimodal models and like what happens when right. we combine right. bits of these. And my prediction in this space is as we talk about GPT-4 coming out, I think it's going to be something with video. I've seen more and more yeah. mm -hmm. need for video content. Everything is very much short form. People want it to be more engaging. And I think when you have something like Dolly with chat GPT-3, and then they also have their audio transcript tool, my prediction for that is it's going to be something where you can provide prompts, but also examples of looks and feels kind of combined in what people mm -hmm. are doing with the Lens app and start to create some really engaging video content. But we will see. Uh -huh. I mean, that's the final prediction. So. Yeah, we started to have a little bit of that kind of thing, uh, you know, a few seconds of video. So in episode 624, I did a five minute Friday on Imagine Video. And that isn't yet compelling like Dolly 2 or ChatGPT. And so I think you're right on the money, Sadie. I think that with how quickly things progressed in 2022, it is not inconceivable that in 2023, we will have really compelling video for more than a few seconds that is believable. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. That is a really good call. I'm feeling confident about that one. And this is also, I asked Serge Massis, our researcher on the Super Data Science Podcast, who's been on the show a number of times, most recently in episode 634. And I asked him, because he does research for the show, I said, you know, don't worry about doing research for this 2023 trends episode, but do you have anything that we should make sure that we talk about? And he said uh, that 2022 had many unexpected breakthroughs in exactly what you're saying, uh, multimodal uh, models. So text to image, text to video, text to 3D. And um, yeah, so then he, he asked me to be sure to ask you uh, what you expect to happen in the generative AI space in 2023. And you've already answered that question. Boom, compelling video. I agree. Which I'm very much looking forward to because uh, video is not my strong suit. So I've I can get a little help from AI. I will be very happy in that regard. Uh, but I do want to go back just a little bit on data as a product because I think oh yeah, it's easy. I, I can caution startups. I could see a lot of startups emerging in this world now to do things that OpenAI is doing, or you know, I, I see a lot of copycats coming out, and I think that there's a lot of opportunity in looking at data as a product from an enterprise level too. And one of the companies who's doing this really well is Tesla, and they're taking data now from their cars and creating whole new lines of business. So, like one of the ones that's pretty simple is the insurance, the car insurance company, right? Because they said, "Hey, we have." so much great data on our drivers that we can build way better risk models. And so at an enterprise level, you're probably going to plug in and buy things, enterprise tools from OpenAI, probably not going to create those your own, maybe you will, but there's still a ton of opportunity to use the specialized data that you have at your company to create products, to create new lines of business, to come up with innovative ways. And so I would definitely make sure you're not feeling like the space is overcrowded or there's so much hype, but take this as an opportunity to look at the data that you have and what's unique about it and how you can use that to create a product because the differentiator is going to be the unique data you have available. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really great point. I love that. Um, so yeah, so data as a product, yeah, people realizing that they have been collecting data that could be useful in, under, in other industries and figuring out ways to monetize that. Uh, I didn't actually know about that Tesla application. That is interesting. It makes a lot of sense. We could go in further too and talk about, you know, their human robots. I think that's still a little ways out. I don't know if anyone watched the Tesla AI day. Highly encourage everyone to watch it. I think that's a good inspiration for trend predictions. But um, yeah, they're they're definitely taking data as a product to a whole new level. So 
I don't know if I'm quite ready to say that 2023 will have true AGI, but you know, I think we're <laughs> getting closer every day. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is something of some contention between me and some other people, prominent people who've been on the show, some people whom you know very well. <clears throat> Specifically, I'm thinking about Jeremy Harris. Mm -hmm. So Jeremy, I introduced you to him and you have been on each other's shows. You had great episodes. And Jeremy, when he was on this show, uh, he was talking about how uh, AGI is coming very soon because of these uh, models getting bigger and bigger. And that, you know, we have these emergent properties like this really compelling chat GPT conversation is emerging from just adding more and more model weights in uh, to, to structures, to neural network structures that we've had around since the 1950s. And so by that reasoning, as we eclipse or approach the number of model weights in these uh, foundational models or large language models, as that starts to approach or eclipse the number of neurons in a human brain, some people say, we, we could have this emergence of AGI. And I did uh, two episodes <laughs> where I tried to give counter arguments to that. Um, so Jeremy Harris's episode is number 565. Amazing speaker, as you well know, Sadie. And it's, an, it's a really compelling episode. If you, if you want lots of evidence that AGI is nigh, then... That episode is one that's that's packed full of it. Um, and then <laughs> I did a couple episodes later. Um, so I called them AGI is not nigh part one and part two. Uh, those are episodes 588 and 590 of the program. Um, so I don't know. It seems to me like there are, there's more to uh, AI being successful than just number of model weights. I think that there's more complexity in the way that animal brains are structured that we haven't figured out how to recapture. And that includes things like literally the physical structure of the brain. But it also includes things like causal reasoning, which puppies and infants can do, and machines today are helpless at. So I think there are some barriers. I don't think we're going to have AGI this year. I feel very comfortable <laughs> making that <laughs> prediction. Um, but... But I keep being surprised. I wouldn't have thought that ChatGPT was possible. And so boom, we have it here. Here's my prediction on it is we aren't going to know when it happens. And the reason we're not going to know when it happens is because we still today do not have an agreed upon term for human consciousness. So when we start to talk about things like intelligence and consciousness and, you know, the big thing that came out this year or in 2022 was the Google researcher who, who thought the AI was alive, who thought it was sentient, right? And a lot of people said, no, it isn't. But if you look into consciousness research, we still don't even fully know what that is yet either. So I think, right. no, we're not going to have AGI in 2023. But when we do get it, will we even know that we have it? That's my question. So I love Jeremy's explanation. He's amazing. I learn something new every time I talk to him. It's a very physicist explanation of things. So, so I'm like, how do we define it from a philosophy and a psychology standpoint? And can we get agree upon it as that? I, I think we'll be a ways from that. Yeah. Uh, another trend that we missed in 2022 was <laughs> Google engineers <laughs> coming out and declaring that their algorithms are conscious. That is not something I saw coming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, be Hopefully careful how long you're chatting with some of these. I've argued that, huh? Right? Maybe that's a word of caution to all of us. <laughs> right. 